October 1st, it's day number eight and today I'm going to be talking to you about really quick easy background techniques and we've got Catherine Pooler's new Christmas collection with us. So she sent me some of her new Christmas stamps, I've got this gorgeous new uh, background ornament stamp and what else did I have here? This is um, Making Spirits Bright. So these are new uh, Christmas sentiments here and also the man with the bag which I thought was super cute. She said to me which stamps do you want to work with and I'm like I love your new Christmas release. I'm all about Christmas. Greg will tell you I go Christmas crazy which drives him nuts because he's not a Christmas person. He's totally a Scrooge. Um, but I, <laughs> he's giving me the face but it's true. I can't help it. He's the Grinch. Um, but I love my Christmas. So you've got different um, beards here. You've got different hats. You can mix and match. There's dyes if you want them or of course you can scan and cut. And you've got sentiments and now you've also got the different frames here. So we're actually going to work with her new background stamp and then you've got Christmas Cove which is um, a new sequin mix from her. I'll open it up for you so you can see. Super cute new sequin mix as well for your shaker cards. But I want to show you new, uh, really cool techniques for really easy backgrounds because I'm all about the quick and the easy. So we'll be using her inks and if you haven't used her inks before, they're really lovely. They come in different collections. So mostly what I have here is the spa collection and a couple from the party collection. So the way the collections work is that they are um, different kind of themes and they all coordinate perfectly together. So we love the fact that we have easy coordinations. Um, you just saw me there mount everything into my Misty. So if we work with the spa collection, the colors are more muted, they all work perfectly together. If we work with party, they're more bright, they all work really well together. So you could just kind of grab a collection, they work really well together. Her inks are specially formulated. They also have this silicone pad underneath. So when I press it down, you get a really, really nice um, impression. When I was doing Inktoberfest last year, and I also did a video about inks earlier in the year, I talked about how her inks are one of the best for newbies because you just get um, such an easy impression. So that's Juniper Mist. I'm now gonna just maybe add in a little bit of spruce here. Um, now, of course, don't forget also to uh, subscribe to the Inktoberfest playlist. And also we have giveaways every day. We have coupons every day. So check out all of those things as well. Don't worry about contamination in your pads either. That's not um, really a big deal. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe to the Hedgehog Hollow to all of those fun kind of things and give us a thumbs up for today's video. So I'm just adding in a couple of different colors, kind of doing a bit of a rainbow effect. Normally I would actually stamp everything separately um, and I'm not gonna get all of the colors on here because I'm just doing a tag. So you can do different stages of this in different ways. And if you grabbed my card making um, course, then you'll have seen different tips for rainbow stamping. But you can see there, you kind of get a really nice ombre effect across the tag. So I've got some blue, some green, some red, and some different red. And I didn't contaminate my pads, but I also get a really fun technique. So you can just leave it there with the different rainbow effect. Um, so that's step number one. So easy background tip number one. You can just leave it there and it's super, super easy and we're done, ready to go. So. If you want to, just say, thanks Alex, really cool background, I'm done, I'm gonna start my Christmas cards out, add a sentiment, and I am good to go. Or you can take it to the next stage. Take your Aqua Painter, because these are dye-based inks, and what we can now do is we can just add in a little bit of water. And you see how it just softens our lines a little bit, and we're not adding any more color in. You can if you want, you could pop your pad down on here and you could add in some color. But at the same time, it just kind of adds some pop of color, adds something a little bit extra. And so on this one, I'm adding the green. And here I've got the green again. So I'm just gonna do a little bit just so you can see how that option works. So, you know, 
you can do it, you can not do it. You can decide what works best for your project. Um, you might want to just kind of pick out little elements, you might want to add an uvo drop, you might want to add a little bit of the sequin mix. But I just think it's a really cool idea that you can do these neat backgrounds, you can do ombres really easily, particularly with that lovely silicone pad in there. And you can add these really cool techniques and I think this stamp is super, super cute too, um, to be able to do that with. So you can grab all of those different options stamp out a million different backgrounds, add them onto your Christmas cards, add a sentiment, add some nouveau drops, add a sequin mix, boom, you are done. Maybe even just add a frame and then add a little, you know, sentiment onto it or one of those really cute, um, what was it called? Uh, the man with the bag, like one of these on there. I think that'd be really cute. Um, but the frames here also have that really nice texture in, so you could do that too. And you'd have some really quick and easy Christmas cards. But I wanted to share that with you. I really do love her inks, but just that gives you a really great idea for some graduated backgrounds or just for adding some quick color to your backgrounds as well. And of course you don't have to just keep it for Christmas either. So lots of ideas in there for you too. So I hope you enjoyed that. As I say, don't forget to check out her discount code today. Don't forget to check out the blog post. And of course, don't forget to check out today's giveaway as well. All of those details will be linked below in the blog post. And of course, all the previous day's giveaways are available for you to check out. And you can go check out the rest of our tags from Inktoberfest too. Uh, we so far created eight tags. I'm adding them onto my book ring. And each day I'm writing on there just some hints and tips that I've learned that day. And of course, if you write the day on there, it's really easy to go back and be able to find that particular video as well, because it's all in a playlist for you. So thank you for joining me. Happy Inktoberfest. I'll see you again tomorrow for another video on another type of ink. I'll see you then. Bye.